But let's start by saying that matter or manifestation is advanced thought. In other words, there is thought, and then there is thought form, and then there is manifestation. And of course, there are millions of incremental steps in between all of that, but that's the general process. There is thought, and then thought form, which you would call illusion or even dream state. And then there is manifestation. And all manifestation is, is energy that is being translated from many perceivers at the same time who concur about what they are perceiving. Know that you are the fabric and the essence of the galactic energy. Know that we are sustained. Know that we are supported by your endeavor, by your existence. Know that we love you because we know you have given birth to us. We give birth back to you. We remind you in this giving of birth that you can be anything you desire to be. That is our gift to your birth. To be born as anyone, anytime, anywhere, anyhow you so desire. That is our gift to remind you. Anything that you choose to be sustains our existence. Sustains the fabric of the galactic connection. You are the rotating star. You are the essence of the spiral of the galaxy in which you inhabit. Of all creation that you are, that extends from you, that issues forth from you, that is projected from you within yourself. For you are everywhere and there is nowhere else to be but where you are now. Everything is within you. There is no outside as you have been reminded time and again. Now all time collapses into one. Now all space collapses into one. Any moment you so desire, you can be within the total here and now. You can live your life in that way. Events upon your planet, events within your solar system are now accelerated. And within what you call a two-year span of time, there shall be much explosion of consciousness upon your world. Much explosion of the connections that you have to other worlds within the galactic substance, within the galactic frame. But these connections and these recognitions, all are secondary to your recognition of your connections to yourself. Recognitions of the connections of yourself to the infinite. Of yourself as the infinite. For you are the infinite. Even as we are the infinite in our own way, you are the infinite in your own way, and we treasure you and cherish you. Wave after wave of love always is pulsing. Feel the spinning of the galaxy in your heart and in your mind and in your soul. It is a deep and rumbling sound. A deep and thorough sound. A deep and stirring sound. Allow it to bubble forth. Allow it to bring forth the understanding of your self-honesty, your self-clarity, your insight and inspiration. For you are all of these as well. We remind you of these things that you do not need to be reminded of, simply because that is the way you have chosen. But now, put them into action. Put them into life. Be more than just the word. Be the thing. Be the idea. Be the deed. Clear and honest as a deed. Feel in the beating of your heart that it keeps pace with the rhythm and the pulse of the spinning of all the galaxies, of the fabric of existence itself, of the universal heart of infinite creation. For you all beat within that heart, and not a one of you is outside the heart of all that is. You are the blood and the life force of God itself. It is your force and your life as well. You are it, and it is you. Out of your dreams, be born. Out of your heart, be alive. Out of your soul, be light. For you are nothing else. The only part of the equation that ever gets out of whack or unhappy 
is the human part of the physical experience, where life has caused you to expand, but your beliefs and attitudes and moods and opinions don't let you go with your own expansion. When you contradict who you have become, when you don't keep up with who you are, you just don't feel good. But not to worry. In the moment of your croaking experience, you'll be right back up to speed. Did you get that?